Guys, I just want to be real with you. You've been fishing all wrong. You've been power fishing and frog fishing all wrong. You're not using the right equipment. And I'm here to tell you that the Dock Demon is the only rod that you need to be using, period. Yeah, so that's not great, guys. Um, basically, what happened is the trailer ball came off because the wheel does not bend up like on normal trailers. It sits up, so I pulled it up as far as we could, but since my Explorer rides so low, the uh, trailer came off the ball, and then when I stopped, it started banging into well, my lift gate of my Explorer, so. Yeah, not great but we're just gonna go fish anyway, so. Hey, Ben here, that's a good fish. We're doing something a little bit different today. We are on just a nice little small lake, big pond, however you wanna call it, and we are doing something that we did quite a while ago. It's Dock Demon fishing time. Now, this is a Zebco Dock Demon, and I've got this thing, this is actually my flipping flipping setup here. I've got 20 pound braid with a 30 pound mono leader. And guys, I'm telling you, you can catch some big fish with this rod. So we're doing a challenge today. I'm with uh, my cousin Adam and we are gonna see who can catch the most fish with a dock demon. We do not have a net today. We have no net, so you're gonna have to land them with this rod and the line you got on it and your bare hands. If you haven't subscribed to That's a Good Fish and you wanna see more videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the action. There he is. Good one. Yes. Yes. There he is, guys. Another one for me. I am smoking him with this frog. Um, man. I'm gonna let him go. <sighs> Catching him on this booyah frog. You can get it at Bud's Bait and Joplin, but really just fishing these, these lily pad patches, moss patches, and this dock demon, I mean, as you're seeing, has the strength to just wheel them out of any kind of cover you're gonna fish. Let's catch another one. came off. No! <laughs> I got the blow up though. That was a big blow up. That was there. right by the stump too. <laughs> that was cool. He came all the way out of the water for it. Right back to I him. I got him that time. Yeah. Another nice fish on the frog. Look at that. Taking a nice little lead here on Adam uh, with this good early morning frog bite. Listen, sometimes you gotta do things. I'm pulling a trailer that I'm usually not pulling. Damaged my rear lift gate of my Explorer. If that doesn't tell your wife that you need a four wheel drive truck, I don't know what does. So, um, but we're enjoying a day of fishing and I'm taking a commanding lead, so I can't beat it. That was pretty cool. Came out. No, oh, he's still on there. Good. Now, I mean, guys, I even got out of the lily pad into the log and still pulled him out with this dock demon. But this is why this is my top water setup here. Um, that's another nice fish on the frog. Man, this morning has been crazy, guys. See you, pal.
Oh, just can't convert. Oh, he's got him on. Oh! That was in the, was in the Okay, car. okay. Oh, no. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I think he ate it like right side of the boat. Uh, Either way, on the board. That's the biggest fish of the day. Yeah. Not pretty, but got the job done. Sometimes it's the second or third hook set that finally gets them. Yeah, that's a that's probably the biggest fish of the day, but it only counts as one. So it counts as one. So Adam, why do you like throwing these dock demons with frogs? Well, the rod's real short, so you, like you said, you can get a lot of leverage on them, and then when you use this braid, there's no stretch in that braid, so it just you can really feel them, really fight them. I mean, you saw I had no trouble getting that fish in, even with this short rod with that braid. So braid dock demon great combo for your frog fishing all right guys i uh switched up to a white swim jig Suns came up a little bit, so I think the top water bite's starting to die just a little. Um, so I'm gonna try this white swim jig around these lily pads and logs. Got a feeling this is gonna be the ticket. Look how easy it flips. Just a nice little swim through the cover. And what we're really targeting now is those fish that, are, that were really active early this morning, and now they're just pushing down into these lily pads a little bit, so. There's one. Yep. Yeah. I figured this white swim jig would be the trick. Yeah, nice one. There we go. Nice white swim jig equals these fish. I bet I can get another one right here. Check this out. Right by this log. Nice. There he is. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's, I mean, look at this boat flip, easy. Just so simple. It's easy, guys. Get you a dock demon. I'm telling you, it's the most versatile rod you're ever gonna use. The key to these guys, I think, is I, on all my chatterbaits and swim jigs, I throw these Rage Tail Menace, and I always like white, um, but there's other good colors as, as well, but I do really like that Rage Tail Menace. Really good action. Almost just makes him hit it. Adam's on. He switched to a more of a numbers lure. He's gone to the chatterbait. Now keep him down. Keep him down. No net. Remember, no net. Oh, trying to get me in the motor. <sighs> Leverage, dude. I'm getting the good ones. I think I have like. Yeah, you've got the good fish. I got the two of the three biggest. There you go. Switched it up. Got to switch it up, even in a pond. Switching to a different lure can really make a difference. He was right on that. We came through with a frog, nothing. So Adam's gonna try and make a run here. I have, I have the lead on Adam. Uh, I took a commanding lead with the frog and the white swim jig early. And now we are into the, the heat of the day, the old August heat. So we're getting ready to go fish offshore out in the deep, the deep sticks, the deep timber, the deep trees. It's been a pretty good day fishing. It's been an expensive trip. Um, you know, the trailer hitch hitting the back of my lift gate of my Explorer. You know, uh, it's been expensive. Uh, but at the same time, that's partly my fault because, listen, as you guys are seeing, you don't need a graph. You don't need live scope. You don't need any of that. All you need is a $50,000 pond, your buddy's boat who's working today. That's what we're using today. And my only fault was... I didn't use Adam's truck, instead I used my own. So the more equipment that you can delegate to everyone else giving to you, then you can you can save your money because there's plenty of fish to catch if you can just get yourself out there. But, I mean, Adam, did I leave anything out there? Nope, $20 dock demon, $50,000 lake. So we're out here fishing offshore and one thing, a reason I love using these dock demons for flipping is one, you've got insane leverage on the rod. I mean, look at that. and then. Again, if you're fishing really heavy cover, you've got a roll cap. 
a backhand, an overhand, an underhand, a flip. You can do it all. Versatile rod, most versatile rod you're ever going to use. I'm surprised this hasn't made it on the tournament circuit yet. I think next year, in the next couple years at least, you're going to start seeing the big pros start using these offshore, inshore, uh, lily pads, vegetation. You're going to see it all. All right, here we go. Let's see if they're out in the timba. They are. Brought it right over the log and he ate it. Nice. I'm not gonna let you catch me, Adam. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna run away and hide. When you're fishing with these short rods, it helps to use your arms to give it the action. You gotta really... You can see my bait. Normally your rod tip would do that, but with the Bioc Demon, you, you use your arms to really make the bait go. That's a bass. Fish on out I here offshore. That one on the worm. Another decent one. Offshore dock demon fishing. Adam's on board. Got one. Got him. Out here offshore fishing with the dock demon. Nice. A big offshore fish too. guys just starting to put all my equipment up here um, oh my good this is my my good flipping dock demon it didn't do much today the fish just weren't offshore I was able to capitalize on the early morning frog bite and then the uh, swim jig bite right here and uh, ended up beating Adam in a pretty convincing fashion I don't know what the actual numbers were but um, once that Sun got up it got super tough but you know I was able to convert on some nice fish this morning with uh, Good old Zebco Dock Demon. Again, can't say enough about this rod. Now, I did take the line off and put some 20 pound braid on there. Um, but other than that, she's ready to go out of the package. So I appreciate you watching. If you want more Dock Demon videos, make sure you comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything in the future. That's a good fish.